been centering Kane and Fogel tonight. Warren Fogel has played terrific hockey during this stretch, and a shot by a nurse flicked aside by Morozik. Played back behind the net for Kevin Korczynski, and the rookie D-man is able to clear with help from Donato. And whistle fires, and that one might have kissed the bar on its way by. Or did it ever? Here's the bar by Entwistle down the left-hand side. It was a good backtrack by Nugent Hopkins. Tried to fork it over to Nurse, but now Chicago will bust out with some numbers. Dickinson drop pass. Hard wrist shot handled by Pickard against Seth Jones. Kane able to regain. Only three shots still on the clock through nine and a half minutes. Dry subtle. Works his way in. Beautiful pass, quick shot. And a glove save. Rozak on Ryan McLeod. On the back end, just made you pay if you had your head down coming over the line. McDavid, beautiful look, and Drysaddle hit the side of the net on the one-timer. Shakes hey. off a check to Cody Cece, tiring shift for Chicago, shot by Nurse, save Rosick, the rebound spooned out in front and cleared by an alert Dickinson. Face-off win for Kurashev. That's punched forward by Radish. Nugent Hopkins with a turnover. Here's Radish, a backhander, and that's held by Calvin Picker, who located that puck through traffic. Is a reward for the two-week workload. <laughs> there you go. Lead pass on the wing. Felino driving in, pulling the trigger. Not much on it, and Picker able to swallow it up. On home ice, Oilers scratched out a 2-1 verdict. Despite being outshot 26-15 in that game. Here's McDavid streaking in, shooting, and a save made by Morozik off the rush. Chance to move it. Tenorti does. Anderson battles for Zach Sanford. A wrist shot fought off by the glove of Picker. And I think it's kind of shown up a little bit in this winning streak that it's not just an offensive club anymore. Tough save made by Pickard on a shot that was kind of just thrown up there. Kulak able to come up with it against Kershev. Holloway couldn't move it out. And now Kershev breaks free, dishes it off. Radish, Kershev. And a glove save made by Pickard. Came right back to him. Vinny Dayarnet. Off the board, skip through to Dorney. Fogel hard to the hole, still sitting there. And Raza kept it out against Ryan Nugent-Hopkins. Dickinson off a face-off, sees Blackwell snatch it away. Jones didn't know where the puck was, it was centered in front, back to your save, and a rebound deflected over the net. At the period was over, but then all of a sudden, Blackwell looks like he's in full control, goes off behind, and all of a sudden, it's right back at the net. That's a nice little backhand in the... It back from Drysaddle. I'm in the net front presence. Drysaddle inside, but gave it a shot. Of it. Off the blocker of Morazic. Now you know, right now you can see the Hawks have been really solid in the penalty kill as of late. They just don't want to get outside that box formation. Pretty concerned with the things inside. Yeah, just not start for the power play right now, and, and it's been something that's kind of been going for a while for Edmonton. But as you mentioned, not a whole lot of time there. But three times that puck has handed back to him. Here's Nugent Hopkins back to try and McDavid a backhander score! Rosick was still at the far post, McDavid knew it, threw it on net, and buried it for the power play goal that gives Edmonton a 1-0 lead. Get the puck down the ice, but then right away, it's Dreisaitl all the way back behind his net that sets this in motion. Gives it to McDavid, they find possession, and everybody converging back, this happens quickly. You can see Morazic, I mean, he just gets lost here, he has no idea where this puck is. And as he kind of comes out, he thinks that pass is going to Dreisaitl. It was the same play they just worked where... I didn't know what happened either, but... Holloway, take it. Kulak, an off-balance shot, and that was kicked aside by Rosick. I agree, I mean, five on five, what do they have? Three shots in the first 19 minutes. Nugent Hopkins wired one on net to save Rosick. From Nugent Hopkins, back inside, and that deflected off Nugent Hopkins, and Alex Plassick will clear to Seth Jones. Zach Sanford, Reese Johnson a shot, sticks it again by Calvin Pickard, who, remember, was solid in the first. Here's a quick chance to save on Sanford. Up near the right clavicle, and Pickard keeps it 1-0 Edmonton. Kachuk is open, and his wrist shot kicked aside by Pickard. Dry side up. Wrapped up with that whistle for just a moment. And then on to Donato. Against Cece, a backhander. Though wrong-footed. 
Now. Goes to dry subtle, and he'll fling it off the glass and around the boards. Bouchard down low, McDavid point blank, trying to give it up instead, and it was deflected right to the waiting pads of Peter Morozik. Dayarnay off the draw, Kulak muscled it back in for Ryan, a shot from Ben Kinner denied. Yanmark point blank on Morozik. Game has gone on, it's gotten better. Off a face off here, D to D, you can see just a little. Upper grabs puck, it's the second effort to pop that puck down low. Absolutely. Home. Kulak beat yeah. two guys. And he stepped up the last ship. Here's Kulak to Dayarnay. Shot blocked, and here comes Chicago's Mackenzie Entwistle for the tie. Backhander to die. And penalty coming against Dayarnay. And they're going to say penalty shot. From Chris Knobloch because he does get a backhand away here. Here's the infraction right here. But yeah, he's wrapped up all around. Entwistle hasn't scored since November. In on Pickard. They hurt it all over him, and then on the penalty shot, he's got that happy hard shot. He tries to go glove hand, and Calvin Picker just takes it away. Great save. Calvin Pickard yeah. on the ice, tremendous. Kershaw, a fly by Polino. Put it back behind the net. Gagne had two assists in the win that started this great streak. A drive by Kershaw, off balance. Pickard still able to kick out the right pad. Here's McDavid. Very close hockey games. And Chicago's doing this on the second of a back-to-back -back. Yeah. again. Impressive. They were walloped last night. Here's McDavid. Centering, tipped home! Zach Hyman finishes! And just like that, Edmonton extends to a 2-0 lead on Hyman's 29th. 24 the last 26. The top line are Ryan Nugent, Hopkins, Connor McDavid, and Zach Hyman have been together. And tonight for Chris Knobloch, he starts dry settling this line with McDavid and Hyman, and they just continue to press, continue to push, and they have broken through here. McDavid with a beauty little pass as he walks around. Megna and finds the backdoor Hyman who elevates up over top of the left pad to make it 2 nothing. Evans. No question, he's Johnson that put that up over top of the glass and he catches he, a little break. He slow played it well. It didn't really peak. Here's Hyman in front. What time or what a save on McDavid by Barazic. Unbelievable. Keeps his club alive. A steal by Drysaddle. Dishing. Hyman point blank denied. He's been just as good. I think early on Calvin Picker made the better saves, but lately it's been... Mrazic that's had to come up with a couple. Here's a couple of those great passes you were talking about. The first one denied in tight. That one doesn't need to move the puck with a great deal of alacrity. Hands off to Dylan Holloway. Beautiful move. Cuts inside. Denied. Point blank. Ryan McLeod. Mrazic's got him a couple times tonight. Bouchard beat his man of the spot. Now Hyman's got an empty net. He's pulled down. He shoots off the side of that. And they didn't call a penalty. Oh, penalty. Wow. That could have been... Close to the, one of those automatic goal situations. Drives out of Hudson down. McDavid Wade shoots and scores. 15 in a row. Edmonton three. Chicago nothing. But it hits the side of the net, comes around again. Puck retrieval, beautiful little backhand pass by Bryce Sala. Finds the game. Edmonton has swept the season series from Chicago. A turnover, a centering pass, right goal, and a shot blocked. Pickard couldn't help himself. He wanted a little drama. 